Thank you for joining Irgo eLearning. Irgo eLearning is a platform to learn different courses related to energy and sustainability. This particular series is about Equest energy modeling software. Equest is a free version of DOE building simulation software and using it a building simulation can be done. In earlier videos, we have checked how to use SD wizard that is schematic design wizard of Equest software. Now in this particular as well as in the next module, we will gradually learn about DD wizard that is detailed development wizard. There are some limitations of SD wizard and when we are modeling on a commercial scale, we normally use DD wizard. So what are the constraints of SD wizard? and when to use DD wizard as well as how to convert existing SD wizard project to DD wizard. That is what is a content of this two module series. This particular introduction session has following points to be discussed. It starts with how to convert existing SD wizard to DD wizard or how to create a new project file in DD wizard. Then it talks about different seasons in DD wizard how to add tariff structure, how to add building shell, multiple building shell, that is part of this two modules. Then custom zoning that is applicable for a larger building and how to create custom zoning based on CAD file, as well as how to create building shell by importing CAD file that is explained with some example case studies. Then it also talks about HVAC system, then building envelope, layer, custom layers, wherein we can create a customized layers as per certain standards, like as per NECB Canada standard or as per US standards. If we are looking for a particular layers of a building material, then how to create them? That is also discussed in some of the videos. And lastly, how to generate results and how to view them. That is also part of this video series. So, in nutshell, we can say that this module is about how to navigate through DD wizard of Equest software and it also highlights some main features of this wizard and users will be walked through through different part of modeling uh, software for Equest. So, there is a major emphasis on this comparison that when not to go for SD wizard and when to go for DD wizard. What are the limitations and when you are looking for multiple HVAC system or more complicated geometry or multiple shell, then this DD wizard, how it is helpful that is discussed over here. Normally, SD wizard is considered as a linear way of making a building wherein we, have, we are progressing from one stage to another stage one by one, while the DD wizard is a parallel way of working where you can return back to navigator and then you can go back to all concerned tabs like building shell or hot water or airside HVAC system etc. So what is a major difference between those two that is explained? in this two modules. So large and more complicated surfaces with multiple HVAC system, complex zonings, they are the candidates to be handled with DD wizard and that is detailed in this two modules. So the module starts with uh, conversion of existing SD wizard to DD wizard or using new project considering DD wizard. So that is shown. When you are converting, you will be asked for certain alert signals because reverse conversion is not possible. So you have to appear, you have to apply you know, for that. And then you have to start making model on DD wizard. So this is a main navigator screen of a DD wizard where you can see that all the informations are explained in parallel. It starts with project details, like what is a detail of project building, its location, weather data file and all. Then it also explains about a building shell, like how the building footprints are, what are the building envelope made of, what is location of window, wall, what is door placement, material of all, material, all the components of building shell. That is explained. Also seasons and schedule of the building that is also part of building shell. 
and there is editable uh, slides for window HVACs and other types of HVAC systems, hot water system. Some tabs are active and some tabs will be activated when you choose respective system that is explained in this video series. Then how to name the project, how to progress through different uh, windows that is explained over here. How to have zone assignment done in case of multiple HVAC system, how to create those multiple shell, how to locate multiple shell with respect to each other. Say for example, there are two buildings. One is a main building and adjacent building is a warehouse building. So how to locate warehouse building with respect to main building and uh, like what to look after, like how to remove certain common components between them, like some windows are there on the common wall. So how to remove them, how to apply different HVAC system to different shells. And again, a multiple uh, floors are there in the same building, which has got a multiple layouts. So how to create those types of building as well as how to create basement. That is what is talked about in this video series. And finally, you can check uh, your building creation in a 3D view, make some necessary modification, view the results. That is a part of this modules. And you can also have a look of customized window and door placements and how to adjust them as per the requirement. That also is part of this video series. You can create as complex as building styles as you can see over here. Multiple buildings with multiple footprints that is also possible to create over here. So I assure you that this two particular modules that will make you understand what is the use of DD wizard, how to create building shell, how to create geometry, then how to make that construction followed by creating HVAC system and all. And you will be definitely learning those things for eQuest. So thank you for joining in Goy Learning. Please keep watching if you are looking for any courses related to energy and sustainability.